have a look at this citrus tree here. This is Mama's citrus tree. Now she said it's a multi-graft or double graft. I could see there's an orange here, or it looks like an orange, and maybe a lime or mandarin or even tangelo on this tree, but it's grown too much. It's too dense and you can't get any fruit or sunlight inside there to develop. Now there is some fruit on here, but we don't know exactly where. I found one over here in this corner here. I'm gonna take all the new growth off. Citrus trees, if you prune them too hard at once, they do go back into growth spurt, which means you won't get any fruit straight away for at least six to nine months. This has got fruit on the old branches down below, but it's put on a lot of new growth on top and we need to take it off. In this case here, mama's space is not enough for this to grow any bigger and we can't afford to just prune a little bit at the moment. We need to take it all the way down to a height that's more manageable and get a bit more sunlight into the middle because if you have a close look inside here, it's as open as anything. There's plenty of space, but because of all the dense outer foliage, no sunlight is getting inside here. We're getting a lot of dieback wood here. There's a lot of dead branches in between and discoloring of the leaves. We've got magnesium deficiency starting to develop. There's not enough photosynthesis happening here because these leaves are literally living in the dark throughout the whole day. And there is fruit in here. I spotted all the fruit. That's never gonna ripen if you don't get any sunlight in here. Now this tree's got a lot of growth on it. It's got leaf miner developing. Here's an example there. Now that attacks all the new leaves. See all these new branches growing on here? They're not gonna fruit. If you don't cut them off, no. If you leave them on the tree, they will actually fruit over time. But the problem we're gonna have is the tree's gonna get too tall and the fruit's gonna be too high for us to harvest, especially in the space that it's growing in. So it's quite confined. So we need to train this tree to come right back down to a lower level. Oh, I think I just spotted scale as well. That is scale there, look at that. There's a sign, the beginning of scale developing on this tree. So we've got multiple issues developing here. Overgrown, too dense, magnesium deficiency, leaf biner, caterpillars on the outer side, not enough sunlight in the middle, and just overall out of shape. Have a look at these trees down here and I'll show you exactly what you need to do with your citrus trees. These aren't dwarf trees by, by any stretch of the imagination. They've just been pruned enough to keep them down to a lower level. They are beautiful trees at five foot high and with lots of fruit. Bergamot tree, beautiful fruit on it. And this is because we're pruning it regularly and only a small amount of pruning. If you let it grow like that one has out of control, you're gonna need to give it a hard prune, but then maintain the pruning like this branch here. It's gotta come off basically. I've got the wrong tool here, but I'm gonna take it off anyway. Just take it back down, stop it from growing too high. And if you see another one like up there, take that off. And another one just here, it's starting to grow, take that off. You don't need to prune it the whole tree at once. Two or three branches at a time will keep the tree under control. That's a bergamot. Behind me here, I think this is Japanese seedless mandarin. Gorgeous tree. Look at that, five foot. Over here, slightly smaller again. And these aren't dwarf citrus. We've pruned them down to a size. Have a look at the pruning. There's a prune just down here, another one there. We're opening up the center. We're getting the sunlight in the middle. This will start to fruit here too in the coming weeks or months. We've already got fruit there. This, man, uh, this orange tree here needs a little bit more work, but that's coming good now. It's controlling itself. Now we pruned this lemon tree a few months ago. If you remember correctly, we had citrus gall wasp on it. Here comes the flowers, here they are, they're starting to develop. That's the pruning we've done. We need to take a little bit more out of the center on this one there, but have a look at the size of this fruit coming on. Beautiful. It's just all in the pruning. Regular pruning will help. This needs another couple of sprays of citrus gall wasp spray or citrus guard white spray to control the citrus gall because we've got some old ones on here too and you don't want it developing on your new fruit. It is the season about citrus trees. That's why we're talking about it regularly now because we want you to succeed growing your citrus trees in your garden, whether it's a balcony or front yard or backyard. So let's go back and prune the other tree. I'm just gonna use these head shears. They've been sharpened and I think they've been cleaned, but they are very sharp, I can assure you that. So what I'm gonna do is just cut down the overall size of the tree, bring it down to a more manageable height and then go into the middle and start thinning it out so I can get a bit more sunlight in the middle. But what I've got to be careful of is that I don't remove any of the existing fruit because Mama's going to kill me if I do that. <laughs> so she hasn't come out to see what I'm doing yet, but once she hears these clippers going, I'm sure she'll be out here in a flash. Here we go.
Hey, as soon as I start wearing something like this, who's turned up? Pakops is getting fruit. No, I haven't cut the fruit off. What is Look, it? it's Look, hanging. Oh, beautiful. You just can't One. see it. Two. Oh, two. Three in there. It was 30 before. 30. Well, I've got to cut the inside out, Mum. Okay. Because it's too much, too much, you can't see inside. I've got patata, cops again, that's a lot. That's it. Well, you don't want me to thin it out. It looks like a ball. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It's a beautiful ball. <laughs> cut him there today. I'm going to cut you. I'll cut you. <laughs> I'll cut, <you. laughs> I'll cut the top off, but I want to thin it out, open it up like that. Oh, okay. So you do, can make fruit. Do anything you want. Don't worry about it. Okay. From here. You've got it. that recorded. Make sure because if I do anything I want and she doesn't like it. Okay. Don't worry. Cut him. It'll grow back. Let's see. Yeah. Like you. There's can, color. You, yeah, I need a ladder. Oh, that's what I get. Okay. This is the extent of my support. Oh, dear. Oh, licking. If this chair breaks. Okay, be careful the French penny. What a minute. Oh. What are you going to do with that now? I don't know. I'll cut. Just cut that. I can't even see what I'm doing anymore. I'm not a liar. Give me the secateurs. I'm going to cut the middle out. Can, can I open it up in the middle? Do anything you, you like. Yeah, all right. Look at the French. Don't cut the fruit. I'll I will cut not cut the one. fruit. What? Cut what? That's the dry one. The dry. All right, I'll cut oh, that oh, off too. I think it's alive. Oh, it's what alive. do you think? Yeah, it's, it's life. It's, it's, it's... Don't! No. She just broke it off. This goes, look, it's dead. But it's not dead on the end. Look. Come here. It's dead there. Yeah, but, but, it's, but it's alive here. No, it's not. No, no. It's alive just there. Right there, look. Two. Right here, right here. That's yeah. alive. That's dead, right? Yeah. But this is... You just broke That's... it off. Look at that. It's alive. I put him there and he come... No, 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 he's dead. Come it's on, don't worry about it. It's not dead. Cut it off How and stick it in one? the ground. It's dead too. This one? Don't just snap okay. branches off like that. Okay. You want to cut no, here? No, look at that. It's dead. All right, cut look. it. You ready? Yeah. That's not dead. Look at that. That's alive. Oh, sugar. Yeah. Your fault. You made me cut it off. Oh, I'm going to take this home and plant it. Right, look at that. It's open. Look, look. It's dead. Look. No. It's stressing out because of the English box. Look at all these plants you got in here. Ah, listen, it's far away from the English box. It's not box. English, it's been rubbing on the English box. Look at that. Look, in look, the it's heart. rubbing, 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 rubbing. Oh, leave it to the English box for more, like, oh, no. Look, I got it, the branch, this one's beautiful. <coughs> Where could I gonna put it? I started to prune a citrus tree and I ended up on the frangipani. How does that work? Listen, I have to put in Vaseline here. Vale, what do you think? Vale, Vix, better. Oh. And Windex. Vix, <laughs> your patata, Vix. Vix, all right, Vix. You know, the Vix will kind of go in your, your cup. Yeah. All right, go and get thing. it. I'll keep pruning. You go and get the Vaseline and Vix. Don't cut the fruit, eh? What? Don't cut the fruit. Hey, you got the fruit there? What? No. Are you lucky? I yeah. kill you. No, I'm not happy. Why? This is a bloody joke. Look, look, look. After the um, posto leme. Coffee tree, coffee. Coffee alive. Coffee lime. It's beautiful. We got a lot, a lot this year. Mm, I'm happy for you. Don't touch it. You're gonna come in sweet. Panafero scala, if you can. She won't see that one. Okay. How we going? <laughs> We're not going well. Hey, you want, some, you want some you help? Sign? Give me the help. Yeah, you got a bit of time. <laughs> yeah, why did you carry that? You didn't ask me to help you. Yeah, Kala. After? After Paris? <laughs> I cut it small after. Put them in the green stuff. You cut them small after? No, I'll help you cut them small after. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you want to take it home? I'll cut them small, yeah. I better cut them for you. I don't want you to touch them. Till <laughs> I'm just going to work my way through this. You cut food, I kill you. <laughs> <laughs> leave it, leave it. Leave it. <laughs> look at that. How you look at the theory of Tokop says. How do you mean it? You know, you don't mean it. You're locked out of them with fruit. You do this. Yeah, oh but my I didn't. God. Uh, it's only one, it's only one. It's only one. 
You sure? Folks, don't ever do this on a ladder, and that's why we've got to keep this tree short so we never have to get up on a ladder like this. Now, I've done this many a time, so I'm no stranger to ladders or falling off ladders, in fact. So if you haven't done it, get somebody who has to print it down for you. Now, I'm up here, and I can see right through the middle of this tree. I don't know what it looks like here from down there yet. I have to come back down to reinvestigate, so I'm not going to go too hard yet until I view it all the way around because I want to get a good balance on it but more importantly I want to get an open env environment in the middle here and there are some branches that I do want to remove but I can't simply because they've got fruit growing on them this one here hasn't so that one there's going to come out there's going to be a big hole there which is good now, there's a couple of branches here too many branches side by side are useless. You don't need them all. You only need one or two and have them growing in a V shape. So every cut you do, whatever branch you leave behind is going to be growing away from each other. If they're growing side by side straight up, remove one of the two. If there's more than two, obviously you've got a problem. So it's a, it's a cluster effect and cut them back. Now over there, let's go here. We just keep cutting and bring it right back down. There's no right or wrong way to cut a tree. If you cut it too hard, a citrus tree is very compromising, well not compromising, very forgiving, it will grow back and then the second time you go around to prune it next time, make sure you don't do it as bad as the first time. So you won't have to prune as hard every time, each and every time and I suppose you're rolling the cameras to see if I can fall off, but I won't. There we are. Have a look at that, there's fruit up here. See that there? Now that wasn't going to get any sunlight and there's another one just below there. Alright, I'll see you in about five minutes. Let me finish pruning. Oh. It's a little bit rough looking. I've still got a few tips to take off and thin out a little bit on this side and on the far side. And we're getting there. And this will start to structure up just like those little ones I showed you there. It'll start to bring on its buds. And if it does put on any new growth, fast upright growth spurt, cut them off. Don't let them develop too much. The longer you leave them, the harder it is to control and the longer it takes for the tree to go back into fruiting mode. So make sure you never let it outgrow itself because you're just wasting time. If you want it to be a hedge, fine. But if you want it for fruit, prune. And it's tangled up. Oh no! Ding dong. Ding dong, I can't go to the house. Ding dong. Ding dong. Where's the second one? All right, out of it's how many got, do you think it's got? Uh, one, two, it was 30 altogether, but now. Oh, you get out of here, 30. Yes. Some, you know, one, two, oh, boy, the can look. Look up, see. Look up, see, spider fruit. Don't hide. The egg can see it. I nearly cut my finger off. You liar. <laughs> I nearly oh. cut my finger off. No, there's nothing there, see? It's still there, maybe. It's still there. <laughs> Which one was it? I didn't cut anything off. I didn't cut anything off. And I didn't cut anything off, okay? Okay, okay. All right, safe. <laughs> safe? Eko, si sigura fruto, sigura. Ta se skotoso, ma ti pa nege, den afi si teka nena dokimasu. Tak te na glikore, si? Pa, ai tora. Si. Ato kano prasino, after try. Oh, you got another one, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, <laughs> you liar. Stop talking, I can't concentrate. Yeah. That's better. That's it. I think I've had enough. Have a look at this. A little bit different. Not the perfect shape, but considering how out of shape it was, or how dense it was, we've still got the integrity there, the structural integrity of the tree but we've got more sunlight coming through the middle and we've allowed it to be able to produce more fruit. We're just taking the outer tips off so they don't stretch out anymore. Now I did remove two or three fruit off the tree by accident, but that doesn't mean it's not gonna bear anymore again. This is actually gonna be more productive this way, more sunlight, but again, when you do prune a citrus tree this hard, any type of citrus folks, it will go into growth spurt, so you need to be weary of that and start thinning it out as soon as it starts doing that. Don't let them mature too much. Otherwise, you, just, you lose your cycle, you lose your timing on it. And then the tree will get into a habit where it doesn't need to be pruned as much because it'll be bearing so much fruit and continuously bearing. And you need to put your liquid fertilizer and your black grit because that's what's going to give the tree the opportunity to produce well. And last but not least, if you've got citrus gall wasp on your plant, 
prune it off as I have now, remove it all and start applying CGWS. Do it on a monthly basis or when rainfall comes, spray it straight again afterwards and that way you protect your tree from that. It'll grow twice as fast and be twice as productive. So citrus trees in every garden is a must. From Eva Silly, Bye Desi.